Okay, if you're curious about this game, here's what you get. Right now it's at version 1. It's uh, 1.36 gigs. There's 14 trophies, no platinum. It's offline only. Um, you can play solo or you can play with uh, one friend. Um, there's four game types. There's 8-ball, 9-ball, 10-ball, and snooker. Um, you can't adjust any of the rules, so you have to play with uh, whatever the rules the, the game defaults to. There's ten characters you can pick. Uh, there's four different rooms. There's four different ball types. There's three different table coverings. And I think there's three different uh, Q types. Um, none of it really matters um, in terms of character. Um, I found them all to be easy. Even though they have different uh, rankings. I think I only lost one time and that was probably by mistake um, so you're not going to get much of a challenge. When you first start um, the first player is uh, unlocked and you have to beat this person to unlock the next and so on and when you've beaten the last person you get a trophy. Um, now you have three different table types uh, but when a ball is available to be potted, it'll be highlighted in green. So if you use the green table, you don't really see it that well. So you're better off to use the, the blue table. Now there's two views. There's this view, and then an overhead view. I found myself primarily using the overhead view. Zoom out a little bit, zoom in. Now you fine tune with R1. You can't use the D pad, so you can't quite get as fine as you'd want to. You press down on the right stick to adjust your power. If you want to apply English, you press um, square, hold it, and you can uh, spin forward or back. That's about it. You can't uh, set a specific area on the ball where you want to hit and once you're done you lose your uh, your line. Now you can turn that, that guide on or off but I played with it on. Um, I guess if you want more of a challenge you can play with it uh, off. Now I found that this game will sometimes call fouls for what appears to be no reason um, so I can't quite uh, figure that out. Um, the biggest problem with this game is if you're buying it for snooker, um, it doesn't uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem to follow the rules of snooker. Um, so if you've cleared all the red balls and you foul, um, there's no penalty to you. Um, so if I pot the black ball, and it's supposed to be the pink ball that's potted next. I don't lose points, they don't gain points, um, so you can sort of cheat um, if it's a close game um, and all the reds are gone. You can just uh, start pocketing balls and take away the computer's chance to uh, get points on you. So that's kind of lame and also uh, there's sometimes questionable fouls um, with snooker as well. It's uh, it's okay. I think I paid ten bucks for when it was on, when it was on sale. Um, sort of an impulse buy. Um, unless you're really really desperate for a new pool game, you can probably give it a pass. Um, if you want a much better pool game, get Pure Pool. Or if you want uh, an overhead game like this, uh, I think Pool Arena, whatever it's called, um, is better. But uh, I don't know. For a quick pickup game, it's okay. I think it's probably better priced at uh, five dollars. It's uh, curious that they didn't patch it. Um, it would have made um, the game a little more enjoyable if you didn't have the wonky fouls and if the snooker rules were uh, closer to what they should be. But I don't know, ten bucks. I guess I uh, learned my lesson for a game buying a game by impulse. Uh, hopefully, you won't make the same mistake. That's it.